Hello, I'm Trisha from Real Fluency Now, and today I'm going to teach you 17 English idioms about weather. Number one, break the ice. This means to help people relax in a situation that is awkward, usually to get a conversation started. The sample sentence is, no one at the meeting knew each other and weren't talking very much until my best friend broke the ice with a very funny joke. Number two, get wind of something. This means for people to find out something, maybe through a rumor. A sample sentence is, he started getting wind of the layoffs at his company last spring. Number three, come rain or shine. This means that even if it rains, something planned will still happen. For example, the wedding will be outside, come rain or shine. Number four, head in the clouds. This means to be thinking of things that aren't very practical. He always had his head in the clouds, but it all worked out very well for him. Five, ride as rain. This means to feel good. And I think this is used a little bit more in British English. I haven't really heard it too much here in the U.S. The sample sentence is, I started exercising and now I feel as right as rain. Number six, to be under the weather. This means to feel sick or unhealthy, as in, I don't feel like going to the party. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Number seven, to steal someone's thunder. This means to take attention away from someone else, as in, I think he's trying to steal my thunder. Number eight, a fair weather friend. This means someone who is your friend only when your life is going well. When you have problems in your life, you find out who your true friends are and which ones are only fair weather friends. Number nine is calm before the storm. This means a quiet, peaceful time before something bad happens. I thought things were going great and then realized it was only the calm before the storm. Number 10, every cloud has a silver lining. This means that there's always something good in every bad situation. A sample sentence is, this has really been a struggle for me, but I guess there's a silver lining that I'm learning a lot. Number 11, it never rains unless it pours. This means that when something bad happens, many times more bad things happen. For example, I've just had one bad thing after another happen lately, but I guess it never rains unless it pours. 12, raining cats and dogs. This means it is raining very hard. Sample sentence is, I don't think I'll drive there now. It's raining cats and dogs. I'll wait until the weather calms down a bit first. Number 13, a storm is brewing. This means there is going to be some sort of trouble or a problem soon. A sample sentence is, I could feel the tension at the meeting last night. I think a storm is brewing. Number 14, save it for a rainy day. This means to save money or something else for a time when you really need it. A sample with that is, I made more money than I expected but rather than spend it now, I'll save it for a rainy day. Number 15, to take a rain check. This means to not get or do something now, but plan it for another day. They asked me to go out with them tonight, but I had work to do, so I said I needed to take a rain check on that. Number 16, to be on cloud nine. This means to be very happy about something. A sample of sentences, when I am finally successful with this, I will be on cloud nine. Number 17, to rain on someone's parade. This means to do something that messes up someone else's plans. A sample sentence is, he always rains on my parade by pointing out a problem that I missed. Now, if you want to learn more English from me, please stay and watch more of my videos here on YouTube. And please subscribe to my channel and click the bell. Goodbye. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.